it out again, it's not eating it. One of the big girls just picked up a big chunk and is playing with it because they've never seen it before. It's a bit of a novelty for them, I think. It's gone very well. You know, when they start panicking or running up fences or barging into things, you worry, but they, they've got mum's temperament, I think. They're very laid back. The main white lion reserve covers two acres, a daunting area for small cubs. But after a week in the nursery paddock, they're ready for the biggest adventure of their lives so far. Mum's gone out to check everything's safe, I think. She's going around the outside of the fence. And uh, I think they'll get the hang of it. One's come out now. Funnily enough, it's the one that usually keeps well back. She, she's always the reticent one. When they're fully confident, we'll, um, we'll let the public in when we open. But at the moment, no one has got a, any idea at all what, what we got here. They're having a good run round. Mum's doing her usual marvellous job, as if she's just slowly but she's getting more confident by the minute. It's been a long time she's, since she's been out here and she deserves it. They're having a drink now from one of the puddles. A bit startled at first when they first trod in it and didn't quite know what. But um, they're having a whale of a time. After a few days getting used to the reserve by themselves, the cubs are ready to meet the rest of the pride. The first to be introduced to them is Dad. Just hope it will all be playful. He could come out and just have a go at them straight away, and if he does, the size of him compared to the size of them, he could kill them. We don't really think he's going to, because he's a big soppy boy. But we've got to all be in here just to be on the safe side, just in case. So if anything does happen, we can get in there immediately and split him up. Marin's going up to him now. She's been a bit flirty. We don't want her to come back into season last and we want her to, to be mated again, but um, I think she's just missed a bit of adult company. And the cubs are a bit wary. But I'm very surprised that he's just walked past and to be honest, he doesn't even look as if he's turned and seen them yet. Two that look like they've plucked up a bit of courage to follow him, which is quite brave really, considering they've not really met him before and through a bit of fence. A sh slightly short temper, but I think that will um, that will improve when it, the more he gets used to it. But this is one of the reasons why we do this in easy stages. I uh, want to play, tease, and everything before we can leave them out totally unattended. You can see these cubs aren't white anymore. She's washing them, trying her hardest to keep them clean. But with all the mud and how wet it is outside, they're rapidly turning a shade of brown. weeks later and Rolo is still chasing the cubs. All eight white lions are now on the reserve together. The breeding program is going so well that Natasha has 